I felt gross. It was kind of a shock after I started Cosentex. Four years clear. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentex. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentex. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections, some serious, and the lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Tell your doctor if your Crohn's disease symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Learn more at Cosentix.com. Joining us live Tuesday, Hannah Waddingham talks about season two of the Emmy-nominated Ted Lasso, Tuesday at 7 a.m. on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Happening right now, thousands forced to evacuate in Northern California as the Dixie Fire nears a half million acres. We will have the latest on the firefight. Good morning, I'm Jennifer Gould, live in downtown Los Angeles. Is LA County a step closer to having a vaccine mandate? Details on that coming up as COVID numbers continue to increase. And Elon Musk has reportedly already moved in. We'll take you inside the tiny home that already has a wait list of thousands. The KTLA 5 Morning News at 5 a.m. starts right now. I feel like it helps if you're a tiny person, right? But we'll see. I can't wait for that story. Good morning, everybody. I'm in for a Henry, and we have a few things that we need to talk about. I always like this great, beautiful shot of HB. You can see what the conditions are like if you have plans to be here at the beautiful beach communities. Otherwise, everybody else, you see it with a heat up that is expected. Not so much today. We have a chance of some monsoonal moisture as well for our friends in the high deserts in those mountain communities, and that could be a really big deal. And we'll kind of explain what that means as well as we, of course, expect the conditions for our friends in the high deserts right now at about 75 degrees 101 is your high temperature for today but the heat of is expected to come we also want to discuss your ride so a couple things going on okay let's update you about this 210 it's the northbound side right or westbound side excuse me right at hubbard street where they're still talking about this crash with the big rig the left lane's been blocked the driver ended up hitting the center divider but there's also something kind of similar if you have plans to be in the inlet empire on the 215 freeway so that wreck is also with a big rig 215 south at the ramona expressway a couple left lanes are blocked here and this one actually sounds a little bit more serious than the one on the 210 freeway we'll watch it at least for now anyway this stretch not too busy we're not seeing too much in terms of delays related to both of these crashes crashes, even though they both sound kind of serious. We'll keep our eyes on these things. Eric Lynette. In the news this morning, with COVID cases continuing to climb, LA County considering a bold move to slow the spread of the virus. A vaccine or proof that you've been vaccinated may be required to be indoors in public places. KTLA's Jennifer Gould is live in downtown LA with more. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning to both of you. Yeah, we saw that exact vaccine mandate approved in New York uh, City just last week. And the big question is whether or not L.A. County will be next. L.A. County Board of Supervisors is going to discuss drafting the mandate again tomorrow. They're hoping to have one at least in the next two weeks, but they still need to determine what exactly vaccination is. Is that one shot? fully vaccinated both shots. Uh, what exactly uh, is a public space? Uh, is that work, a grocery store, the gym? And how are people going to prove they've been vaccinated? They're having these discussions while COVID cases and hospitalizations continues to climb.